Hey, it's Amy with A Farmish Kind of Life where we keep homesteading honest and hilarious in the barn, the garden, and the kitchen. Today we're in my basement and I'm by the freezer. We raise a lot of chickens here at Clucky Diggins Farm. Oh no, we're getting low. One of our favorite ways to have chickens on the farm is to smoke them. So today I'm gonna to tell you the process of how we brine and smoke our chickens. You will see um, in the instructions that I give you today, I actually brine pieced out chicken instead of whole chickens. We normally do whole chickens, but this time we wanted to do a bunch at one time in our little smoker, and so instead of doing whole chickens, we actually pieced them out and did the breasts, the legs, and the thighs. You can absolutely use this recipe and this process for whole chickens. We just opted to do pieces this time. But wait, why do we brine a chicken? Can't we just take a chicken and throw it in the smoker? Well, you can but I wouldn't suggest it. Brining gives it a really amazing flavor and it helps the chicken to stay moist during the smoking process. You won't end up with a super dried out chicken. So now you know. That's why we brine a chicken before we smoke it. You can add tons of stuff to brine. You can make it super complicated, but the one that we generally use is really simple. It's just water, canning salt, and garlic. That's all. You're gonna dissolve one cup of canning salt in half a gallon of boiling water. And then you're gonna add mm, three tablespoons of garlic, or more, as much as you want, because garlic is life, y'all. Pour all of that into a five gallon food grade bucket, add half a gallon of cold water, and then let it cool down. After it cools down, add your chicken to the brine. If you find that you need more brine, double the recipe. You want all the meat to stay under the brine. Now this chicken is going to take a nice garlicky salt water bath for at least 24 hours. We're gonna stick it in the fridge somewhere nice and cool and just let it hang out. It's gonna do its thing and then we get to smoke it. This is going out to the garage fridge because we don't have any room in the house fridge. That's a good thing. Have a nice bath time. Get out of there. This time tomorrow, we'll be sticking all this chicken in the smoker. I just went out and got the chicken from the fridge. I lied, it wasn't 24 hours. We actually did 48 hours. I forgot about choir practice and church and birthday parties and all of that. So we did let it sit 48 hours. You don't have to let it sit that long. It's fine to let it just sit for 24 hours. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the chicken out of the bucket, we're gonna rinse it off a little bit, and then we're gonna let it dry on drying racks because drying the meat actually helps the smoke adhere to it better. Little tip for ya. There's my super fancy setup to get these pieces of chicken dried off. We do it fancy here. So this is the kind of the electric smoker that we have. It's a master built. We have no complaints about the smoker. It has served us well. We are planning on building a smokehouse because Although this smoker is awesome, it just can't keep up with the amount of stuff that we want to do at the same time. So eventually we'll be building one. When we're ready to go, we set the smoker temp to 180 and we set the timer to 24 hours. The reason we set it to 24 hours is if we set it for a certain time, we think it's gonna take two or three hours and it takes longer, the smoker will actually turn off when it hits the time that you've set. So for that reason, we just set it for 24 hours. Fill up the wood tray with wood shavings. And then fill up the smoker with meat. We also insert a meat thermometer into one of the pieces of chicken and the meat thermometer has a digital readout that has an alarm on it so we can monitor the temp of the meat while it is smoking. After an hour, our chicken wasn't quite up to temp. Checked on it to make sure everything was okay though. We bumped the temp up to 200 degrees, added more wood chips, and let her go. Smoking is so fun. Oh, 
Oh, it's annoying. I'm getting moped out. Do you really think it's done? Woo! That's pretty mokey. Woo! On this particular day of smoking, we did four large, pieced out chickens, and they were done in two and a half hours on a 40 degree day. Take your chicken out of the smoker and remember that that tray is going to get heavy and hot while you're holding it. And now we have all these amazing pieces of chicken to enjoy. Smoked chicken that was brined and then smoked in our smoker. So delicious. We can shred these breasts. We can dice them up. We can leave them whole. And we can actually stick them back in the freezer. Unless my teen boys eat them all tonight. Which you never know. And now who wants to go brine and smoke a chicken? I think I need to do some more. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember to click subscribe, click the dingy bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. And hey, I hope you have a great supper tonight. See you next time.